Welcome to the Wednesday Reflection. On Monday, as I look to the week ahead, the main event is undoubtedly the Feast of the Transfiguration, the 6th of August. And if I draw your attention to it today, you'll be able to appreciate it all the more tomorrow. The Transfiguration is full of mystery and wonder. Matthew, Mark, and Luke all give slightly different versions of it, but all agree on its significance. Jesus chooses just the three disciples to accompany him, Peter, James, and John. These three had already been chosen to witness the raising of Jairus' daughter, and they will accompany Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. At the mountaintop, Jesus is transfigured with a divine light of glory, and two Old Testament figures appear with him, Moses and Elijah. They confer with him about the future, and by implication support him in his resolve to go to Jerusalem to fulfill his destiny in suffering, death, and resurrection. Peter wants the whole experience to last longer, and suggests they make tents for them. But then the glory of God envelops them all, and the voice comes from the cloud, This is my Son, the Beloved. Listen to him. Then it is all over, and it is back to everyday life. In these last weeks and months, we have been deprived of much of our religious experience, with worship on live stream and churches closed. Now things are opening up cautiously. Where can we see the glory of God? The Transfiguration event reminds us that the glory of God in Jesus Christ can be found among us when we recognize acts of kindness given and acts of kindness received, small glimpses of glory that transfigure our view of life. Thanks be to God.